Now that the chamber is connected properly to the reservoir, we are ready to fill the chamber with buffer. For this demonstration, we'll be using DI water, though. A few notes before we begin. First, always fill and drain the chamber, primarily using the pump. The chamber has a switch that detects if the chamber lid is open or closed. If this lid is open or the switch becomes encrusted with chemicals, the controller will shut off and the clearing will not take place. To prevent any spills, this is why the chamber is filled and drained with the pump. Second, if you do have any spills or splashes, quickly clean and dry the surface with a little DI water and chem wipes. Then third, prior to filling and draining the chamber, make sure that the lid cap is firmly in place, the quick lock is secure, and both tubes are connected. And finally, be sure to remember not to open the chamber lid when the outlet tube is connected. You may cut the tube or strip the quick lock. Now on to filling and draining. Prior to placing a sample in the chamber, you want to fill the chamber to about three quarters full with the clearing buffer. The chamber has a viewport that may be opened and that allows you to monitor the buffer levels. A good rule of thumb is that you want to fill the chamber to the lower part of this upper plastic support beam that you see running across the chamber. To fill, turn on the pump, making sure the flow is in the correct direction. If you are impatient like me, I suggest taking advantage of the hurry up mode. Once the buffer comes up to the desired level, you may place your samples. In this case, we will continue to fill because we will demonstrate placing the sample container into the chamber in the next video. When draining the chamber, either to change the buffer during a run or to clearing after a clearing run, switch the direction of the flow on the pump and drain out as much buffer as possible. Not all the buffer will drain out and for any remainder use a 10 or 25 mil pipette to remove any excess in the bottom of the chamber. Next up, what to do with those samples.